Reference Materials by Sparkly Barkley Part 1 Dictionary, Encyclopedia, and Thesaurus There are lots of reference materials out there to help you find information, like the Dictionary, Encyclopedia, Atlas, Thesaurus, and Almanac. Today we're going to talk about dictionaries, encyclopedias, and thesaurus. The first one we're going to talk about is the dictionary. The main point of the dictionary is to find a definition or the meaning of a word. It also tells you the parts of speech, pronunciation, or how to pronounce the words. They have guide words and they're in alphabetical order. Here's an example of the definition for the word share. It shows you the word, it tells you the part of speech, which is a verb, it gives you definitions and example sentences, and there's even guide words at the top of the page. The guide words tell you the first and last words on that page. The next reference material we're going to learn about is the encyclopedia. The encyclopedia has the most important facts about different topics. They come in what we call articles. They use headings and subheadings, charts, diagrams, pictures, captions, and labels. And they can be general or specific, and they are also in alphabetical order. Here is an example of an encyclopedia article on sharks. Notice that it has a heading at the top of the article. Throughout the article, it uses subheadings to break it down into smaller chunks. They use diagrams, charts, labels, pictures, and even captions to tell you what they're about. Encyclopedias can be general or specific. General encyclopedias cover a whole bunch of different topics. It can cover anything from animals to people to places, wars, pretty much whatever you can think of. Whereas a specific encyclopedia covers one particular topic. That could be science, like the example here, or it could be sports, it could be animals, it could be about famous people like presidents, or even plants. But whatever that topic is, that is the only type of information you will find in that encyclopedia. The next type of reference material we're going to learn about, and the last one, is the thesaurus. A thesaurus is mainly used for synonyms. Sometimes they can have antonyms. They also tell you the parts of speech, just like a dictionary, and the definitions. They use guide words, and they're in alphabetical order. Here we have an example entry in a thesaurus. The word we're looking at is nice. It tells you the part of speech. It gives you the definition and even gives you example sentences. But it also tells you other words, which are the ones in blue. Pleasant, agreeable, good-natured, delightful, and fantastic that you can use in place of the word nice. They are synonyms for the word nice. Time to review. Today we learned about dictionaries and their main use is to find definitions. Encyclopedias have articles with important information covering a range of topics. They're really good if you need to know key facts about a subject. The last reference source that we looked at was the thesaurus and we mainly use that to come up with synonyms or other words in place of commonly used words. That's all for today's reference materials. Tune in next time to learn more about an atlas and an almanac. Thanks for learning! Created using Powtoon!